there was an estate on the corner of Charles and 14th Street. That was known as Westbrook's Jewel Box. And this couple came to Greenville and bought this piece of property and put a big fence around it, built a big mansion that had a, 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 a ballroom upstairs. They had a zoo. They had a large artesian well pool. They had another uh, house for the caretaker for the estate. They had fountains. It just went on and on and on and on. So, and this it's funny because you interview older people who remember about the Westbrook's Jewel Box, uh, the older people who knew them. Um, she, her husband was much younger than she was, and she put her husband up in a car dealership on 4th Street. And they just happened to be using dynamite one day, uh, blowing up land to create another fountain and they discovered oil well the next day the raleigh paper big huge letters you know uh oil found in greenville you know so big oil boom you know type of thing well people literally went crazy they went absolutely crazy and so they were trying to people were trying to buy all the neighbors land around thinking oh god you know and uh they wouldn't sell Unbelievable, just talk about, oh, 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 we're all going to be rich, and na, 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 na. Well, then somehow they, they got the state to bring an engineer, chemical engineer down or whatever, to test the oil. Well, he took it back to Raleigh. Well, for some reason, it took him about six months to come back with the report. So he finally came out with it, and everybody was so excited. It was just going to be the biggest thing ever. And so he said, oh, it's good oil, really good oil. And so everybody says, we got to clap and do us some stuff used oil, but it's really good oil. It seems that since the beginning of cars and stuff, somebody, a neighbor, it was a mechanic and dumped all of his oil onto his property and somehow it just all seeped and pooled right where she blew up that thing. Well, that, they sort of disappeared and they were in debt and the Blunts, they owed a lot of money to the Blunts and the Blunts owned, owned it and they opened their pool, this fabulous artesian well pool, as this first city pool.